See this idea? It allows you to trade any nation in the world, which will bring you the insane amount of money and sailors. Watch this video if you want to find out how much money would you get by raiding the whole world. Let's balkanize England. Also, let's sell men to Brittany. I need to wait for a bit. And now let's guarantee it. Now I'll destroy all of my ships and half of my army. Of course, I'll leave on half so France doesn't declare on me. Let's develop this province. And finally, let's release and play as Normandy. So I'm going to improve relations with Burgundy and with Denmark. Let's do it. And let's also give out some privileges. Mana privileges, I have tons of ground land and Maybe advisor cost privileges, why not? Oh, and of course, we just diplomats. Now let's hire some advisors. And let's become autocracy, why not? Okay, I can finish this mission, just perfect. And let's also focus on military. So, what I'm going to do now? Nothing, I'll just wait for 5 years. And I really hope that France won't declare on England. Well, it's not as boring as it could be. At least I can build some ships and that's some form of entertainment. Here it is, Miltech 4, very good. I am more advanced than England. I guess I'll start hiring mercenaries, let's do it. And also, I'll hire 4 infantry units. Now let's ask to support our independence. Well, Denmark is at war, but it's going to end soon, I hope. Yes, here it is. And let's ally other vessels, let's do it. Except Alencion, I don't want to ally it. And now let's finish this mission and declare on England. Shouldn't be that difficult. Right now that's kinda easy. Almost no problems. That's what difference in Miltech means. Now let's tech wipe them. Let's separate peace Brittany and ask for money and war reparations. Let's also separate peace Portugal. So, of course I want to take these provinces, independence, war reparations and some money. Of course Burgundy and Northumberland aren't happy about it, but I don't care about them. Let's complete our missions, very good. And I also get new claims, just perfect. For now I don't have a clue how to fight France, I think I'll try to ally Austria. By the way, it's possible to ally Aragon, let's do it. First, let's break some alliances. I'll break alliance with Meat, Man, and I think maybe, maybe, maybe Cornwall. Yes, maybe Cornwall, it's pretty useless ally, but it takes Diplo slot. And let's choose our rivals. Very convenient, I don't even have to choose. I'll fabricate claim on Brittany, and soon enough I will declare on it. I was afraid of that, and unfortunately I wouldn't be able to help my allies, so I think I'll just decline this offer. I think I need to build some galleys, let's do it. Well, finally, here it is, let's roll Mary Aragon. And I should be able to ally it. Yes, I can. Let's do it. Okay, so France now shouldn't declare on me. I hope. Maybe France ruined my plans. Yes, I agree. But on the positive note, there is still one province that I can conquer. Let's fabricate claim on it. And of course I forgot to build claims on my previous allies. Let's do it right now. Very unfortunate turn of events. It's going to be a very big headache for me. Even worse than Scotland. I think I should ally Wurzburg. Because it's kinda big and, well, I need some protection from France. Let's conquer Cornwall. I think I shouldn't have married it, but okay, that already happened. And also, let's conquer Brittany, let's conquer everyone. So, I think I want to vassalize Brittany because it has a lot of cores in France. And also, of course, I'll take some money. Finally, I'm rich. Hooray, I finally can ally Austria. I'm not sure how, but I can also ally Poland. Now I think I'm totally protected from everyone. Not sure if it's because of my luck, or is it because everyone hates France. But either way, I benefit from it. So, I guess it's time to finally start conquering Ireland. I'll declare on Leinster and set Kildare as co-belligerent. And of course I forgot to ask for access. Let's do it. Here it is. And now comes the easy part. I just need to win. Let's finally peace out. I think I can take this province even though it's not co-belligerent. But Irish provinces don't generate much aggressive expansion, so let's take it. And let's take these provinces and some money. So, originally I wanted to conquer Britain. But somehow I got a lot of allies. So I think it's better to eliminate France early, and not let it grow. I'll call in Austria and Aragon, and I'll set Northumberland as co-belligerent. Not sure how I'm going to conquer it, because England won't give me access, I'm sure about this. But I'll think of something. And of course I forgot to mark provinces that I want, of course. I think that would be okay if I agree to help Denmark, cause Sweden shouldn't annex my provinces. Right now let's peace out Northumberland. Also here it is, new mill tech, very good. So now I think I should easily win. Well, that's kinda bad, but coalition shouldn't grow big because I just planned to return cars to Brittany and maybe Paris. We'll see, we'll see. Well, I can peace out Castile, let's do it. I won't even ask for reparations because they won't agree. And now let's just conquer France. Well, England enters too. Well, I guess I won't declare on it anytime soon. Not a problem. I guess let's peace out. I've already prepared peace deal. So, I'll return cars to Brittany. Also, I'll take these two provinces. And release Gascony from them. And also, let's take some money, I guess. Or I think war patience would be better. Oh, I can take both of them. So, I've already improved relations with some of these nations. So, I think coalition shouldn't form. It shouldn't. Or at least it would. But they won't declare on me because I have tons of allies. So, let's do it. I can't release Gascony yet, so I'll just wait. But I can pay out my loans. I'll wait until Sweden and Denmark peace out. Well, of course they entered the coalition, but they shouldn't declare on me. 
I hope. Finally, let's release Gascony and take a strong Duchess privilege. So if someone wonders why did I release Gascony, it's because they have a lot of cores in France and I need them to reduce aggressive expansion. And also I won't annex Brittany yet, first I want to complete exploration idea group. Let's set focus to diplomatic points. And also I decided to hire this advisor so aggressive expansion reduces faster. So the coalition has finally disbanded. Now I can do whatever I want. Well, interesting. Okay, I'll help Austria. And also I can finally hire explorers. Now I just need colonists and I think I'll start annexing Brittany. The first Viking exploration fleet is finally ready. So let's hire explorer and set sail. Hooray, I found new landmass. I think I'll call it Greenland. Here it is, colonist. Let's colonize Greenland. So let's choose our native policy. I think your existence. And let's colonize Greenland. Ah, I can't yet. Well, that's sad, that's sad. Oh, then let's hire this advisor. He's pretty expensive. But unfortunately, I don't have a choice. I think I'll fire these ones. Also, I need to complete this idea. Well, that's minus a lie. Let's maybe support its independence. Here it is, now I can finally colonize. Let's colonize Greenland. And soon enough, I'll declare war on France. Let's also grant this privilege and take burger loans. Finally, now I may declare on France. First, let's start annexing Brittany. Also, I forgot to build cannons, let's do it. Three cannons. And let's declare on France. Should be quite easy, I hope. Unfortunately, I've lost, but that's just one battle. I think I'll still win. Well, that's interesting. Okay, I'll help Austria. So, I'm not sure what's going on. The Tonic Order declared on Austria. Ah, I think I understood. Yes, it's because of the event. If the Tonic Order declares on the HRE nation, then there will be an event where it declares on Austria. I think that's the explanation. Let's piss out Castile. And now it will be really easy. So, from France, I will take Gascony's course, land bridge to Gascony, and also terrain, which is core of Orleans. I'll release it and reconquer some provinces. And also, I want to take a lot of money, obviously, and war reparations. Time for second idea group. Maybe expansion ideas, why not? Pretty good combo. After all, I'm playing chill colonial game, so I need to colonize. And I think I'll declare on England. I think I'll do. I think I wouldn't call in Austria. I think I wouldn't, because I want money. And if Austria joins in, then most of money will go to it. So I'll just call in Denmark and will declare on England. And also I forgot to break alliance with Wales. Let's just do it right now. Well, unfortunately, I've lost most of my fleet. Yeah, that's really unfortunate. Nothing serious, I'll just build new one. Well, I think I overestimated myself. Let's try, maybe I can piss out Portugal. Let's try. No, I can't. Let's go in Austria. Then I'll promise it to land, I guess. I guess I can lower maintenance for my troops. Not like I'm going to find someone. Let's abrogate claim on Wales and I'll declare on it too. Now I think it's time to piss out some small nations. I want a lot of money. Unfortunately, my colonial distance advisor has died and I wanted to conquer Caribbean colony. <laughs> yeah, very unfortunate. Maybe, maybe I'll be lucky. Yes, here it is, here it is, found him. Well, unfortunately, I still can't conquer Caribas, so I think I'll just take money and war reparations. And now I can piss out England, let's do it. So, unfortunately, I have to give something to Austria. Also, I want to take this province and maybe this one too. Well, that's manageable. Let's piss out. Time for another colony. Well, that's the best message in the game. So, I finally integrated Brittany and colonialism is born in Portugal. Okay, let's declare on Wales. I think I'll start with killing of Scotland. Unfortunately, my fleet can't do anything against Scottish one, so I'll move it to my mainland, I think. So I'll use this general in this case, so I can move my troops quickly before Scotland. Let's try it. And, 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 and. Yes, yes, yes. I just need to siege this fort, uh, their capital, and I think they will give up. I even already know what I'll take from them. No, I won't take any provinces, I will be smarter than this. Here it is, just like I anticipated. Let's try, let's try at least. So I want to return course to Wales and take some money. They should accept. No? Seriously? Why not? Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Then I'll teach more and I think they will come to their senses. Oh, well, I can settle for this too, I guess. Yeah, it's less than I wanted, but still not quite bad. Still not quite bad. So why did I return this province to Wales? First, because I don't get aggressive expansion for this. And Scotland wasn't a population nation. So that means that if I took it from Scotland directly, then I would get a lot of aggressive expansion. And I didn't want to do it. But if I take it from Wales, then it will be quite manageable. It is. Let's pay out my loans. I'm rich now. And I still have them, unfortunately. Ah, uh, but okay, okay. Not a problem. Inflation is just number. By the way, I can afford new colonies if you want to. Let's check how much admin points do I need. And I think, I think I can afford it. Let's do it. And now let's start colonizing America. So, I want to colonize Vinland. One second, I'll check it where it was. Approximately. I think it's in Newfoundland, yeah? Let's assume so. 
Maybe I should have colonized some better provinces like East Coast provinces or maybe Caribbean, but I just really liked the roleplay. So let's colonize Finland. Well, here it is. Full annex and money. Well, I have some money, so let's build some trade fleet, I think. Five ships would be enough. I think it's finally time to finish friends off. Technically, I can try to win just with Austria, without anyone else, just Austria. Well, I think let's wait until the truce with Scotland ends, right? Maybe Poland will finish its war, and maybe it will join, maybe. But then it would be pretty easy. I just need to focus on Scotland. Uh, well, Austria and Poland take care of France. Well, let's show my allies Monsieur of Influence what I want. I want uh, these provinces. I want pretty borders. And also, I think let's lose Orleans so I can reconquer something. Here it is. I think I should delete this mercenary company. Yes, it has awesome general, but it costs just too much. And also, it's almost out of manpower. Let's delete it. I think I'll just hire regular infantry instead. Oh, by the way, here it is. The truce with Scotland has ended. Now I think I might declare on France. So, Poland uh, doesn't want to join in, unfortunately. Well, let's try at least. Let's try at least. So, my strategy is very simple. I blitz Scotland, piss it out, and then uh, focus on France, win, and take a lot of land and a lot of money, and I'll be a rich and very successful nation. It's not like a plan. Let's do it. And also, what, one second. Well, interesting fact, it seems like Denmark hates Scottish people. It will join in if I uh, make Scotland co belligerent. Well, that's win win situation for me. Let's do it. It is perfect plan. Just a Swiss watch. What I can say. Let's piss out some nations, I guess. I really hope that I will stitch this fort right now because. Well, I have some problems on my mainland. Well, some little problems. Hooray! Now let's try to piss out Scotland. Well, I want these three provinces. Okay, let's siege it down first and let them piss out. At least I've got something from Scotland. That's something positive, I think. Let's piss out. Uh, this process will really help me in the future. Well, I think Austria is kinda winning right now. Maybe there really is no panic and everything is fine. Well, maybe it was a bad idea to start this war, because unfortunately I'm not really winning. 8 loans is a very big amount. <laughs> So I'm not sure how long can I keep up this war, unfortunately. Well, I think I'll be out right now, like right now, cause it's too expensive for me to continue. I think I shouldn't have started this war, I shouldn't. Let's try to negotiate. Oh, well, let's take this province and some money, I guess. Well, no, of course I'm not satisfied. I'm really not, but I don't have a choice. Let's do it. And let's build spy network on England. Yeah, this war was a total disaster, I would say. Let's click this button and start annexing Gascony. I think it's finally time. Also, let's start Golden Era. I need it right now. I have problems with mana because of this conquest. Also, I guess let's abdicate this ruler because he's really bad. Let's ask Denmark to prepare for war, I think. Let's do it. Let's declare on England. Well, guys, I've achieved a great victory. I've banished Portugal from Europe. Because as far as I know, AI hates frozen straits when there are troops on the opposite side. So maybe I'll even be able to siege Portuguese capital. I just want a lot of money, and also I want to try to take some Caribbean provinces. Oh, England surrendered. First I want to siege this fort, then I'll piss out Portugal, and only then England. But I could have done it sooner, because well, I have rebel problems. Here it is. Well, I think that's right for Vikings clay. Let's conquer it. I'll get around 700 ducats, which is pretty good. I'll pay out some loans. And also, new colony. Just awesome. And now let's deal with England. Just perfect. Will there be a coalition? Of course there will be a coalition, but small one. So I think I'll chill for a few decades, annex Gascony, and maybe then declare on friends. Uh, Cause now I just don't see a good opportunity to do it. Yeah, no one even agrees. Okay, I'll wait then. I'll wait, or oh, nice something, you know, pay out my loans. Let's also set focus to admin. Well, it seems like I'm not the only Viking that wants Winland. Let's give it some cool Viking name, like Exdits. Yeah, okay. Well, let's start colonizing East Coast, I think. Or maybe Africa. Okay, one colony is for North America, and another one for Asia and Africa. Sounds fair, let's do it. Unfortunately, I lack colonial distance, let's try to hire advisor. There should be one at least. Let's try. Well, for some reason, I can't find colonial distance advisor. So I guess I colonize something in South America to get colonial range. Maybe I've annexed Gascony, but still my borders are really ugly. Commonwealth wants to break alliance with me. Is it bad? Maybe. Maybe it is. I just really hope that, I don't know, I could allay Ottomans or Muscovy or someone or Norway. Pretty good. Let's allay them. By the way, let's grant this privilege. Upgrade our rank, now I have tons of prestige and guarding capacity. I think I'm ready, I think I'm ready for this war. I assure you that my plan is more reliable than the last one, so what I'll do? I'll stitch down Scotland, stitch down France, take a lot of money from France, maybe some provinces, then I'll take a lot of provinces and money from Scotland, and then I'll enjoy global domination. Sounds simple, sounds effective. Spain won't join in, so it should be really easy, let's do it. Hooray, 30 group. What should I choose? What should I choose? Good question. I think something military, because I have a lot of military points. 
Might be offensive ideas. Why not? Maybe I should have taken espionage ideas, but I do not have that much of a diplomatic points. Finally, finally, this is happening. So, governing colony, Vinland. Now, let's... I think colonize East Coast. Oh, well, that's minus half of my manpower, yeah. You should always be attentive. I think everyone knows that pretty borders are the key to success. That's why I'm going to clean them up a little, take some money, war operations, peace out. Perfect. The same with Scotland. I'll take all Ireland, men and money. Well, that's already almost pretty borders, almost. I think Denmark just copies me. Like, why are they colonizing Caribbeans? That's what I call money. That is very good income. It would be better, of course, if not for Austria, but I don't feel like, you know, like, betraying my only ally and uh, trying to conquer some provinces from the fifth great power right after me. Why did he just appear? Oh my god, my colony is almost finished. Here it is, my colony is ready. I can colonize Africa. Let's do it. Can I? I can't yet. One second. Did you love colonize this process? Seriously? Maybe some missions, I guess. I need to complete just one idea and I'll be able to colonize Africa. And here it is. Time for Africa. And also I think let's start on Orleans. I forgot to delete some ports, oh my god, I'm stupid. One second. One fort is enough. Well, that's already not bad. That's already not bad. Well, that's interesting. Okay, let's accept. Austria is my best ally after all. Denmark? Really? Well, that's very sad. I thought we were friends, but apparently we aren't. Well, I really want to help Austria, but for some reason it's sitting down Denmark. I don't know why. Well, unfortunately I can't handle Poland. I've already tried. I think I just should run away. Well, Poland in this game is really something. I didn't even notice it, but apparently Hungary is under their PU. Uh, yep, they're just annihilating our side. Hooray, something positive. Well, rest in peace, Austria. Rest in peace. Maybe I'll try to help Austria. No, Poland is just something else. Very powerful nation, very. Well, here it is. Let's see. Let's see. I'm afraid to look at the map. They just gave one province and money. That's it. Seriously. So much for an improved AI. Let's explore something. Why not? I like exploring. And by the way, new sector. Let's colonize something in South Africa. I just want to have colonial range to reach Asia. That's where the money is. And no, not from the trade, but from the raiding. But to unlock raiding, unfortunately, I still need to unlock 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 ideas. Let's declare on Scotland. Let's go in Austria, and this should be easy. So, what do I want from France? I want these provinces, or pretty borders. Also, I wanted to break a land with Spain. Maybe I'll declare on Spain, by the way. Maybe. We'll see. And also some money. Sounds reasonable. Here are these pretty borders. West France, East France. Okay, and Scotland. Unfortunately, I can't follow an exit. Extremely unfortunately. But that should be enough. That should be enough. Here it is. And Jovian Empire 2.0. Or maybe I want to go and spend because I really want to finish these ideas. I really want to rate everything. Here it is. Time to start raiding. It's so profitable that I even forgot about attrition. No problem, I can build new ships. I have a lot of money. Let's also raid European provinces with my trade fleet. Well, not quite bad. Not quite bad. No, really, I recommend to play at Normandy or Pirate Nations and just colonize everything and raid everything. It's very fun. You just click a button and you have thousands of income. I think that's it for Europe. But I still have Asia and South Africa, I think. Oh, by the way, here it is. I can uh, finally colonize Molucas. And now my rating income should be just ridiculous. I hope. Let's also colonize Australia. That's sad, of course, but I've got raiding and I don't need anything else. Raiding is our life. Also, let's colonize this island, I think, so I can raid even more. You know the sad thing. There isn't raiding map, unfortunately. There is. Now, by the way, I think I already got uh, more than 1000 ducats from raiding. And I still have more provinces to raid. It's insane. It really is insane. Mm, I don't think that I have great chances here. I don't think that at all. So, I think I'll decline and I'll like Poland instead. Good luck, Austria, you'll need it. I think I can pay out most of my loans with this. Yes, I did. Can I colonize Taiwan? I want to colonize Taiwan. Yes, I can. Let's do it. Let's colonize Taiwan and I'll raid China. Okay, let's ditch Austria and ally Poland. Poland is my best friend now. Time to raid China. One more raid and run. Let's do it. Let's finally build this new fleet. I have money for this. Finally. Basically, I'm able to raid the whole world. Except Mediterranean. Finally, my raid and run is complete. I think I've got around 2000 ducats or even more. Let's do some math. Let's imagine that I've got 2500 ducats from this run and I can repeat it every 5 years. Now let's divide 2500 ducats by 60. 41 ducats a month. Of course that's not like trading, but that's pretty good alternative I would say. I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, please like it and subscribe to my channel.